This is just a quick video about the distinction between Cohen's D and Hedges G. And what prompted me to uh, talk about this was a couple of things. One is I see both of them reported. Uh, and I think some people are confused about the difference between the two. And also because I came across this paper that um, has the, I was looking for something else. And uh, it's a very good paper uh, by uh, Rosnow and Rosenthal. They've published many papers that are quite good and accessible. And I recommend this one to you if you want to know more about effect size estimates, some of which you may not have actually heard of before, but uh, are still good. So the issue of Cohen's D and Hedges G, I'll just point out the formulae uh, that Rosen Rosnow and Rosenthal present. And we can see that Hedges G is the difference between two means divided by a pooled standard deviation. And then the formula for Cohen's D is the difference between two means divided by the difference between a pooled sigma, which is really a population level st standard deviation. And that's really the only difference between Hedges G and Cohen's D. And arguably, people should only ever be reporting Hedges G because virtually nobody has access to the population standard deviation. All you have is access to the sample standard deviations. And Rosnow and Rosenthal write, in sum, both Hedges G and Cohen's D represent the effect size in standard score units. Yes, true in z-scores. However, Cohen's D uses n for the denominator of the estimate of variance to obtain the standard deviation, or sigma, the population standard deviation, whereas Hedges G uses n minus 1 which is the sample-based standard deviation. And as I mentioned, virtually everyone has access only to the sample standard deviation. And I note that every occasionally you'll see a reviewer get irritated that somebody reports Cohen's D when they should be reporting Hedges G. So I recommend that you report your effect size estimate of the difference between two means in standardized form as Hedges G because you probably only have access to the uh, sample standard deviations. But when you actually look at the popularity of each, this is me checking out how often you see Hedges G reported in studies. Uh, in 2017, you can see that it shows up 250 times in Google Scholar, not often at all, whereas Cohen's D shows up a whopping 5,240 and we can, I can almost assure you, you know, I haven't looked at all the studies, but I suspect very few of these studies actually have access to the population. Some of them might be talking about power, and that's actually originally where Cohen's D was uh, conceptualized, was in the context of power, and it does make sense there to speak of the population effect size. But when you're reporting results for your own study, arguably you should be reporting Hedges G when it's the difference between me two means in standardized form.